What up guys, acoustic lesson today. We're doing the song, Here I Am to Worship. Three chords, let's get it going. So we're doing this song, Here I Am to Worship. A bunch of people have done this song before. So like Chris Tomlin, Tim Hughes, it's been around the block for a little while, but it's still a classic song. Um, love worshiping to it, love playing it. So I wanted to teach it to you guys. Really just three chords. We're just gonna use uh, this G chord, uh, the C at nine chord, and the D chord. So we really just, we need just three chords for this song. I think technically you could probably throw in an A minor um, as the fourth chord for this song, but this is just one of those songs you can just kind of jam to, free, free flow worship to. So I'm just gonna, you know, show you how to play it with the G chord, the C chord, and the D chord. So I'm gonna put those pictures up on the screen if you're brand new, the G, the C, and then the D chord. So a couple other lessons that might help you out um, if you're a beginner and you're just trying to get some of these chords down. Um, I'll link a few up top. Um, one is just you know showing you these chords a little bit more in depth. Um, so these are chords in the key of G. And then the other one is which strings I should be strumming or which strings you should be strumming when you're playing these chords because we think that we should be playing all the strings on every chord, and that's just not the case. The C chord shouldn't be doing it. D chord shouldn't be playing all the strings. So definitely, if you're new, help um, take a look at some of those. That'll definitely help you out. So this song, the, the chorus um, or the verse, it's just gonna go G to the D to the C. And we're just gonna repeat that, um, you know, two or three times. So the strum pattern for this song, we're just gonna keep it nice and simple. Down, 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 up. So down, 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 up. Same strum pattern for the entire song. So down, so down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So as you notice, the C gets it twice. So the C will get the down, 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 up, down, 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 up. So let me just kind of sink through that. Um, it's super, super easy. I think you're gonna catch on really quickly. So, light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me Here we're going to get into the chorus. So the chorus chords, um, they change just a little bit, not much, but it goes from this G to the D, back to the G, then to the C. And then it'll do G, D, G. So same strum pattern, let's do this. Um, here I am to worship, here I am to bow down, here I am to say that you're my God, you're all together lovely, all together worthy, all together one.
So you noticed on these chorus chords, we're doing that strum pattern twice for each chord. So down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, down. So on and so forth. You get where we're going with that. So just remember that on the chorus. And then, um, yeah, verse two, same as verse one. And then we're gonna get into the bridge here, the bridge, the chords change a little bit. So it's gonna go uh, D to the G to the C. And then I think we just repeat that um, a handful of times. Same strum pattern, so let me show you how that sounds. And I'll never know how much it costs to see my sin up on that cross and I'll never know and how much it costs to see my sin up on that cross that's pretty much the song guys so three chords over and over again before you leave, let me show you a couple of different things that you can do um, just when you're playing some, some of the same chords over and over and over again. Sometimes it's nice to do a couple of things to make it sound you know, fresh, kind of give it a little bit of a different feel and just kind of change things up a little bit. So two things I want to show you. We can do a couple of hammer-ons and pull-offs. So um, we can do a couple of those just throughout the, the, the verse and the chorus. We don't want to be doing these on literally every single chord. Um, you know, don't be like some guy on YouTube told me to be doing hammer-ons and pull-offs on every single chord. No, I don't want you to do that. Just use it selectively. So if you need help on that, I'm going to link the video I do uh, that on the lesson I do on the hammer-ons and pull-offs in the key of G. So you could do something like this. Light of the world. You step down into darkness, open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that makes this heart adore you, over our life spent with you. So just something simple you can do maybe on that first verse maybe you do it on the um on the chorus the other thing i like um to to, to do throughout the song is just to make it not sound somewhat like the same thing over and over again it's just kind of doing throwing this little note in there so it's like a um you know it's like a g and then you just keep your middle finger there slide the pointer finger down to this second fret on the high E string. You can do the same thing with this C chord. So I explained this a little bit more in my lesson. I do it more in depth. So check that out if you need to. Uh, but just an example of what that might sound like. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see.
So just a couple of things you can do in there. I was, I was throwing in this uh, slide up D chord. So again, this is one where you can, um, you know, if you wanted to just kind of mix up that D sound, you're just in the C formation here, slide it up one, two frets. And it's, I just call it the C shape D chord. I'll link that in the description below. Just giving you some extra ideas um, on this song. And then lastly, if you wanted to just finger pick the song, super, super easy, super pretty. Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Been with you. So just I'm, I'm using just the finger picking pattern I always teach. Again, finger pick like a worship leader with three fingers. Um, that's the lesson I do, showing you exactly how to finger pick, like which strings you should be picking here. Super, super easy, super pretty. I'm doing the same same pattern um, in in this lesson too. So, anyways, I kind of threw a lot out there um, at you guys with some different things you can do um, on the song. The chords are obviously super simple, but I did throw a lot of just kind of additional chord voicings, you know, hammer ons, you know, this thing right there. So, if you have questions, definitely just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you're confused with, what you're struggling on, uh, what you have questions on. If you're new um, to the channel or you've been hanging around for a while, um, head on over to the community tab on my channel. I've got some uh, encouragement, some verses of the week, some um, live streams, some updates, some giveaways going on. Um, so definitely head over there. Say hello. Let me know how it's going. I'd love to just connect with you um, here on the channel and see how long you've been playing, where you're at, what church you're at, all that good stuff. So head on over there, say hello, and I'll catch you in the... Next one.